I just spotted a school of, of mullet here in the shallows. So we get some bait. Yeah, so I'm throwing a whipcord net here in the shallows. It's almost like braid. So not ideal. Um, even your mono, it's not um, actually worth throwing in shallow water like this. But it did the job. Got my bait. And this is what is nice about low tide. You can collect bait before the water starts pushing. Your mullet, and octopus, your red bait. But yeah, I think we're going to start off with choco bait. And then later on, move to to Oki leg and, and mullet. How's it guys? Finally we're back. We're back at the water. Um, I'm fishing with Frankie and my dad. He's making the fire and we're targeting some cop. So yeah, we've been busy this holiday. Um, busy training, busy preparing for this season in the athletics and um, Crikey has been busy with fishing. Yeah. We're like a fish gefang, eh? Yeah, he's, he's, he caught a few nice um, cop this holiday. Yeah, so finally we're making a new video and um, good to be back, good to be back at the water and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Crikey, I've got a nice one for the pen and Crikey's quickly going to release that one 
Um, just shows you that small pop takes an 8 0 like nothing. And it was, yeah, it was difficult here between the kelp, but luckily we used to bet this, so that is easy as well. Take care. Oh my, do it. What's it? Spotter. Yeah, where did you go? Well, um, for you the crackers. So I'm gonna throw a piece of red paint now. Six out gamagatsu. I'm not trying for Kaoyun. <laughs> trying for something bigger.
Uiteindelijk heb ik een braad visie voor Kraaitje. Hahaha. Dat is hij. Wat is er nog als je een hakje maakt? Wat is er? Zo, daar, daar, daar. Weet je hem niet zo? Ja, hij is netjes. Waarom niet? Nee, dit toch? Yes, how long is that as you know in the water? It's a good one here. But it's good. Hey! Yes, like man. Ik heb twee kabeljauw, maar je is eten niet. Is die? Die is jouw leader. So as the water was pushing, the colder water moved in and the fish went off the bite. So I took my rod, ran about 150 meters down the beach and um, cast it in a little spot um, between the kelp where there were a little bit of brown water and on our way. Yeah, it says no gamma, Papa. <laughs> but somehow the braid parted, maybe it's just a little weak spot and I lost the fish, ran back, put on another leader, another chase, chocka bite, ran back and uh, the next cast on again. It seemed like luck was on my side and um, I pulled out my previous trace as well with uh, the, the hook still in the fish's mouth. And uh, unfortunately, I hooked Kraiki's line as well. And by the end of this trip, Kraiki realized his GoPro is gone. So we lost a lot of footage on, on this trip that was supposed to be on this video. I just lost the fish right before this throw. Broke my leader off and Kraiki just caught my leader with another fish on, small one. I'm gonna put this one back and keep this one for the bride. This one is about 70 centimeters or so. Nice eating size. So yeah. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Um, we got a few copies. The conditions weren't the best today. The water turned cold and uh, the water was actually clean as well. So not always have to have the, the dirtiest or brownest water. Uh, sometimes the crop feed in uh, cleaner water as well. But yeah, today was a little too clean and uh, we, get, we gave it our best. We got a few copies. So uh, it's still fun. It's always fun. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like it, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time.